Hey people, it is Saturday, July the 10th, and it is 6.10 in the evening. And I'm here at the corner of King Street West and Close Avenue. And this is part two of a video. I just completed part, ton part one where I walk between King and Queen in Parkdale, taking the side streets along the way in a zigzagging fashion. So we'll just continue heading eastward, taking a look at some of these nice old residential streets. And we'll also get a look at the main retail strip on Queen Street. And there's also a smaller retail strip on King Street around Dufferin that we might get to see. As I was saying in part one, if you saw, lots of the uh, houses here in Parkdale do tend to be rather large and lots of them are detached homes, which is in contrast to the neighborhoods closer into downtown, which tend to have more tightly packed, slightly smaller houses that are attached in rows are mostly at least semi-detached. Detached homes are rather rather rare, right in the core of the city. But this is about the spot heading west out of downtown where you start to see detached homes start to predominate. There are certainly a lot of attached or semi-detached houses still in the neighborhood, so it's not all detached homes by any means. I'd say it's at least 50-50. And there are a number of pre-war walk-up apartment buildings as well. And lots of trees. There's a fantastic tree canopy in Parkdale. And this is a school, I'm just not sure the name of it. And the sun is glaring <laughs> in my eye, so I can't really even see the name of it. If there is a name posted. It's probably something I've heard of, I just can't think of off the top of my head. We're coming up to Queen Street. This main retail strip of Parkdale Long Queen runs between Dufferin and Roncesvalles. And in this area, it's also known as Little Tibet. Quite a number of Tibetan restaurants to be found. Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna come for some black bread. And this is usually a lively and interesting neighborhood. It's sort of sprung back to life recently with the lifting of more restrictions. I'm currently in step two, which allowed outdoor dining to resume, as you can see. Hi, brother. Thank you for you out, brother. Sorry, got nothing.
I think that woman, as I walked by, said, what's that device you're holding? <laughs> so here's Dunn Avenue. So we'll head back down to King. And I've never really walked down most of these side streets before. So this is all as new to me as it is to you. Parkdale had quite the negative reputation for quite a few decades. So starting from the 19 late 1960s through to the 90s it was considered one of Toronto's rougher neighborhoods but it has changed quite a bit over the last 15 years or so it's not gentrified by any means yet but it's certainly improved for the better compared to how it was, say, 25 years ago. Especially on the Queen Street Strip. You'll find all kinds of restaurants and bars that would never have opened on that strip back in the 90s. Catering to a certain demographic that would never have come here before. But now they come here in droves and live here as well. The houses on this particular street are set rather far back from the sidewalk. It wasn't the case on some of the other streets I walked down before this. And I hear some Jefferson Airplane. <laughs> And the houses here are a bit smaller than they were in part one of the video, which is further to the west. Most of those were downright mansions, really. <laughs> this one is interesting. Is this even a Residence? <laughs> Sometimes transformer stations are disguised as as residences or other types of buildings. But I think this is actually an old apartment building. Seems to be people living here.
Way off in the distance to the east, you can see some of the bank towers of the financial district. See the TD Center and the Commerce Court. And there I see the CN Tower. So here's Cowan Avenue. And I wonder what's going to happen to this old beauty and the one beside it. Hopefully they'll be renovated. Look at the lawn, it's like a jungle. Here we are, back at Queen. And here's the Parkdale branch of the Toronto Public Library. This is a mid-century style library building. I believe Godwin is a big fan of these mid-century public libraries. Single story.
Very overpowering marijuana smell walking past there. Oh, here's Elm Grove Avenue. I think this will be the last street I can walk down in this video because I can see my battery is about to die. And I'm also going to be starting a live stream very shortly. Now, here's an actual row here, an old row house. We have moved a little further, closer to the core, but these don't really predominate in this neighborhood very much. They do further east, for sure. Immediately east and west of the core, these are relatively common. So since my battery is in the red, I think I will start doing a formal wrap-up of this, of this video. So I hope you enjoyed the walk, zigzagging between King and Queen here in Parkdale, checking out some of the residential side streets. Leave a comment below and like and share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal and via my new merch store. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because I will continue, and I will continue until this battery dies, which should get me maybe down to King Street. We'll see. Or maybe not. <laughs>